I gotta be honest, I'm sad. I'm very sad. Because this is the first Sleep Token song I've reacted to that doesn't have a video. I mean, the videos aren't very sig significant. Um, they're just cool. There's something to follow along with, but we don't need a video. Um, today we're going to be reacting to Are You Really Okay? Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. And if you haven't seen my other reactions, I am slightly drunk. So, don't mind me if I'm a little goofier than normal. But yeah, let's get into it, shall we? That's a different sound. This is so Are you really Bitch, my space bar didn't pause sorry. Didn't pause the song. <laughs> this is a really unique instrumental from them. This is like really somber? Is that the word? I don't know. Um but this is like uh <sighs> What could you compare this to? I don't fucking know. I'm drunk, I don't know. Uh, it's just, it's different. It's like... I don't know, don't mind me. Sorry. Are you really okay? That's what I was waiting for. I was waiting for the real instrumental. I mean, that was a good. That was good. Don't get me wrong. But uh, we were waiting for the sleep token. You know. This is very. This is a very peaceful kind of song. I'm not gonna lie. It could be in reality a sad ass song or some shit. But I listen to sad music all the time and I vibe. <laughs> 
Is that healthy? I don't know. I feel fine. Um, yeah, that instrumental change was, that was nice. This is very, like, non-sleep token. The way this song sounds, I, yes, it's sleep token, but I'm so used to how their other songs sound. This is a way different sound than that. Like, other than the vocals, the vocalist obviously sounds the same. But, I mean, this sounds way different. Way different, it's so interesting. I cannot fix your wounds this time. That's some deep shit. Went from I can't help you if because I don't know how to can't fix you. I mean, in reality, you can't fix anybody. You can always help somebody. I only my really close friends because I don't really like people. Um, I read people too much. I'm very good at body language, and I can basically look in your eyes and tell what kind of person you are. Uh, I don't like most people, but for friends that are really close to me, I'll help them. But uh, I can't fix anybody. You, can, I mean, I will say you can rarely fix somebody, but it's not you fixing them. It's them fixing themselves. It's something that you put in them that helps them fix themselves. Because ultimately, you can't fix anybody. You can only fix yourself. That's the reality of it. But that was a very good line. That's a good one, too. I don't believe you when you tell me you're fine. That, that's huge. Because um, most people will tell you, I'm alright. I'm okay. I've been fine. Especially, like, I'm sure everybody watching has had friends that have had depression or, you know, some kind of issue. Even on a day they're stressful. If you ask them, how you been, man? They're going to be like, I've been alright. I've been good. Yeah. And there's a lot of times where you can look at somebody, hell, they're fucked up. And they're, I'm fine. All the time. Because it's gotten to a point in society, especially men, um... A lot of men are like this. Men are stoic. Um, and that's... I mean, we're supposed to be stoic, really. Um, but I feel like everybody could use um, a therapist or a shrink. Whatever you want to call it. Do you always need a therapist? No. Um, but whenever you're going through some shit, it's useful. Um... Even if you're going through some shit, talking about it will help. Like, I have a friend that recently uh, just lost his fiance. She uh, just you know, was fucking around on him and all that shit. And hella depressed. Anxious. 
And uh, he's like, man, it hurts talking about it. I'm like, it may sound crazy, but you talking about it is actually helping you heal. Yeah, it hurts like a bitch talking about it, especially if you have a breakup or something like that. Oh, it hurts like a motherfucker when you talk about it. It's horrible. But it helps. Which is weird, right? But it does. It helps a lot. It's a very weird thing. Um, sorry, I kind of went on a rant there. <laughs> but no, that's very true. Uh, every It's everybody, man. Everybody will think, I'm fine. Everybody does that. I do it. You do it. You know what I mean? It's like human nature. You know. Don't hurt yourself again. This could mean multiple things. Don't hurt yourself again could have been a... Um, attempted, you know what. Uh, I don't. I think YouTube's really strict on that word, so I don't want to say it. <laughs> but uh, it could have, could have been an attempted... Or maybe addiction, um, trauma... There's multiple things that could be. Um, and I find a lot of times that it's addiction. Because addiction will throw you in a fucking rabbit hole. Um, I'm addicted to nicotine. However, since nicotine's not really a... drug that gives you a high, per se, it can't really throw you down that rabbit hole. Now, it will throw you down the rabbit hole of nicotine addiction. Now, does that really have a significant impact on your life? Yes and no. It depends on what you do. If you smoke cigarettes for nicotine, yes. If you vape for nicotine, yeah. If you do these, these are straight nicotine pouches, so no, but yes. Um... But hard drugs, like addiction like that, alcohol addiction, drink in moderation. Um, a lot of things can throw you down a bad, bad loop. In a bad loop, sorry. Um, damn. Damn, I'm catching some shit at the end of this song. Was that it? Oh shit. That was it. Huh. Wow. Vessel? What the fuck is a vessel? Is that what they call themselves? <laughs> what the hell? That's interesting. Um... Damn, some people cried to this? Yeah, y'all will realize I'm a psycho and don't cry at anything. Um, if you ever see me cry in a reaction, you better buy a fucking lottery ticket. Like, seriously. Um, no, that was fair. That was sad, though. That was... Um, I don't know if it was sad or... Probably both. Um, kind of speechless with this one, to be honest. Yeah. That was... That was an interesting one. 
I raised you in the dark, caught you reading by the sunrise. You wandered from the path through the silence of the hillside. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that was, uh, thank you, vessel. Kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one, though. I didn't really get a huge impact from it. From the ending lyrics? Yeah, yeah. Um, the beginning, though? I mean, it, songs always hit people in different ways. I feel like since I'm doing fine mentally and all that, um, maybe it just didn't hit me. I feel like somebody going through something, then this could definitely have a different effect. Uh, definitely. Like, when I was... I had a deep depression from about 16 to 19, 20. Years. Not as long as some people, but I had about three, four years of terrible depression. And it was all mental. Uh, there was no trauma or anything. But I used to listen to XXX Tentacion. Still can't believe he's dead, by the way. Four years later. Five years later. Shit, it's been five years. Fucking hell, that's crazy. Uh, Fora. If you've never heard of Fora, I'm going to type his name real quick. P-H-O-R-A. Great artist. It's rap. But uh, his songs hit hard. I listened to him a lot when I was going through uh, real rough shit. And, um, but yeah, so I listened to X, Fora, Juice World. Juice World didn't help me a lot. He helped me a little bit. But, uh, yeah. Yes. interruptions but um yeah that was good the ending of that caught me damn good song sleep token i see a lot of people in these comments really appreciating this one um i'm glad it had a huge impact on people maybe i missed something but no that was that was a good song let me shut the fuck up now. <laughs> I don't want to keep y'all here. 17 minutes. Holy shit. I'm sorry, guys. Fuck. I'm drunk. I'm sorry. Um, if you made it to the ending, um, comment Psycho. I don't know. Comment Psycho. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, hit the like button. Subscribe if you would like to see future Sleep Token content. And I will see you beautiful people in the next video, which may be in a week. Maybe tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. I'm really enjoying Sleep Token. I'm like, I want to react to all this album so I can fucking put it on repeat. But uh, yes, guys, thank you all very much for watching. Love you so much. Thank you for the support. I'm out.